the FOMC decided to leave our policy interest rate unchanged and to continue to reduce our securities holdings. Over the past two years, we have significantly tightened the stance of monetary policy. We believe that our policy rate is likely at its peak for this tightening cycle and that, if the economy evolves broadly as expected, it will likely be appropriate to begin dialing back policy restraint at some point this year. But the economy has surprised forecasters in many ways since the pandemic, and ongoing progress toward our 2% inflation objective is not assured. The committee does not expect that it will be appropriate to reduce the target range until it has gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. What do we want to see? We want to see more good data. It's not that we're looking for better data. It's a, we're looking at continuation of the good data that we've been seeing. And a good example is inflation. So we have six months of good inflation data. The question really is, that six months of good inflation data, is it sending us a true signal that we are, in fact, on uh, a path, a uh, sustainable path down to 2% inflation? That's the question. We're really in a risk management mode of managing the risk, as I mentioned in my opening remarks, managing the risk that we move too soon and move too late. And I think to move, which is, which is where almost everyone on the committee is, is in favor of, of moving rates down this year. Uh, but the timing of that is going to be linked to our gaining confidence that inflation is on a sustainable path down to 2%.